If you want your biceps to fill out your t-shirts and look great not only from the side but also from the front, then you have to train them in a way that not only helps them grow taller but also gets them to grow wider and thicker. And unfortunately, most guys don't realize that repeating the same common bicep curling exercises will only target one part of their biceps, potentially helping that part grow bigger, but not really helping their arms grow wider. This is because the appearance of your bicep isn't just determined by one single muscle. You see the bicep itself has two heads, including the long head on the outside of your arm, which makes up the majority of the peak, and the short head on the inside, which helps provide thickness. But the often overlooked muscle that is largely responsible for width and thickness is the brachialis, which sits right behind the long head of the bicep. And even though it's hidden under the bicep, from a front angle, the belly of the brachialis actually protrudes out the side of your arm. So training the brachialis with the right exercises will help directly increase the width of your arms. That's why for our first exercise, I wanna show you one of my favorite ways to target the brachialis. And that's by using the hammer curl bar, also known as a tricep bar. Now, if you don't have this barbell at your gym, I'm gonna show you another way that you can do this in a sec, but most gyms will have it. So to begin this exercise, you would load up the bar and grab it by the neutral grips in the center of the bar. Then stand up, lean slightly forward while keeping your elbows fixed close to your sides and then curl the bar upwards toward your chest. Now, once you get to the top of the contraction, you wanna squeeze your biceps for a second before slowly returning the barbell back down and repeating for reps. Since we're using a barbell, we do wanna go heavy, but make sure that the weight isn't so heavy that you're swinging backwards to gather momentum for each rep. And make sure that you're not cheating by raising your elbows forward and using your shoulder strength instead of your brachialis. Now, in general, curling with your hands in a neutral and a pronated position rather than the more common supinated position will help target your brachialis to a much greater extent. That's why our second exercise uses that same neutral hand placement. It's the alternating cross body hammer curl. And for this one, you don't need a fancy bar. You only need two dumbbells. To get started, you would grab dumbbells and hold them in a neutral position at your sides. Once again, you wanna lean slightly forward to help take your shoulder out of the movement and to put more constant tension on the brachialis. Then you would curl the dumbbell up, but rather than coming straight up for a regular hammer curl, you're gonna come across your body aiming to bring the dumbbell up to your opposite pec. Then slowly lower the dumbbell back down and repeat the same thing on the other side, alternating back and forth for reps. Another great exercise that follows a similar movement pattern involves the use of a cable machine and the rope attachment. Now, most people perform this exercise by gripping the rope with a neutral hand position and then curling the rope up and down. But I find it a lot more effective to do it either on an incline or by just using one arm at a time because that'll once again allow you to come all the way across your body. So to perform this exercise with one arm, you would use the same rope attachment but only grab it with one hand. Then you would curl across your body aiming to bring the rope to your opposite pec just like we did with the dumbbells before. On the other hand, if you wanna do this exercise on an incline, you would raise the pulley up high and lay back on a bench that's set to about a low 30 degree angle. Then with your elbows raised, you would hold both ends of the rope in a neutral position and then you would curl the rope in towards your face. Even though these exercises may look similar to hammer curls, you're definitely gonna feel it working your brachialis a little differently because of the different angles and the unique constant tension that the cables provide. Now, before we jump to another brachialis exercise, I wanna first switch over to the short head of the bicep because like I said, the brachialis will give you width on the outside of your arm, but the short head is what will give you that width on the inside of your arm. So. An awesome simple exercise for the short head is the concentration curl, but to really target that short head, you're gonna to wanna to do it in a specific way. First, begin by grabbing a dumbbell and then sit down with your legs wide and pin your upper elbow against the inside of your thigh. The dumbbell should be hanging down with your hand in a neutral position, and as you curl up, the trick to really put maximal tension on that short head is to turn the dumbbell over so that your pinky comes up higher than your thumb. Then slowly return the dumbbell back down to the starting hanging position and repeat for reps. You can actually also use this exercise to very effectively target the brachialis as well by performing the curls with a neutral hand position, aiming to bring the dumbbell up to your opposite pec. Another amazing exercise for the short head is a variation of the incline dumbbell curl. Regular incline dumbbell curls are normally used to stretch and activate the long head of the bicep, but 
By turning our palms away from ourselves and by rotating the arms outward, we can transfer that stretch and that tension over to the short head very effectively. So to do this one, you'll want to set the bench at about a 60 to 75 degree angle. Then while holding two dumbbells, you'll want to really externally rotate your arms so that your palms are facing away from your body. And then from there, you'll curl both dumbbells up towards your shoulders while trying once again to turn your pinkies up. After that, slowly return back down while keeping your arms rotated outwards and then repeat for reps. Even though I prefer to curl both dumbbells up at the same time, you can of course also do this exercise by alternating and curling one side up at a time. Let's move on to the next one, which is a very powerful exercise that targets the short head, the wide grip cable easy bar preacher curl. Now I know that most of you already do regular preacher curls, but this is a variation that'll work your bicep a little differently because it'll keep constant tension on your biceps even when you bring the bar all the way up to your chin. To begin, you wanna attach an easy bar or a straight bar to the cable, then take a wide grip, stand up straight, and take a few steps back. Next, you'll squat down and place the lower part of your triceps over your knees. Make sure you lean slightly back to prevent the weight from pulling you off balance. And then just like with regular preacher curls, you'll curl the weight up and then slowly lower back down before repeating for reps. Like I said, this exercise will not only help you target the short head effectively, but you won't have the ability to rest at the top of each contraction like you would with regular preacher curls, which means all that tension stays on the bicep the whole time. So now that we have a total of three exercises for each the brachialis and the short head, for exercise number seven, I wanna move back to the brachialis with incline reverse grip cable curls. For this one, an easy bar will be more comfortable for your hands, but you can also use a straight bar as well. In either case, you would set the bench to a, about a 45 degree angle, then grab the bar with a reverse grip about shoulder width apart and lean back against the bench. Once you're in position, you'll curl the barbell up towards your chin and slowly return back down before repeating for reps. Keep in mind that you'll want to loop your thumbs over the bar rather than under it because that'll help you further take your biceps out of the movement, allowing you to concentrate more on your brachialis. Another great pronated or reverse grip exercise that'll target the brachialis is the reverse easy bar spider curl. Here you would once again have the bench at an incline angle and you'll lay facing forward flat down against the bench. You'll wanna hold the easy bar once again with your palms facing down and your thumbs looped over the bar and you'll want your chest more so at the top of the bench. From there, you're gonna curl the weight up, squeeze at the top, and slowly lower back down. Then repeat for reps. Finally, for the last two exercises, we're gonna return back to the short head for that inner arm thickness. And a really great cable exercise for that short head is the outward bicep cable curl. Unlike wide cable barbell curls, using individual handles will allow you to rotate your arms all the way out, really putting tension on that inner head. So to do this, you'll wanna stand right above the cables with your palms rotated out away from your body. Then while keeping your arms outward, you wanna curl the weight up towards your shoulders and concentrate on leading with the pinkies so that they're higher up than the thumbs. Then come back down and repeat for reps. Last but definitely not least, and by far the best exercise that I haven't mentioned yet for the short head is the wide grip barbell curl. And preferably, I'd like for you to do this with an arm blaster. Now, if you don't have an arm blaster, don't worry about it. Wide grip barbell curls are still very effective without one, but the arm blaster will help prevent you from using momentum and it'll bring your arms slightly forward, allowing you to better target that short head even more. But whether you're using the arm blaster or not, the exercise remains the same. You would take a wide grip at least a couple inches wider than your shoulders. Then while keeping your elbows fixed in place, you would curl the weight up to your chest, then lower back down and repeat for reps. Now, if you wanna get an arm blaster, I'll include a link in the description below, but if you'd rather save your money, you can get many of the same benefits simply by performing wide grip barbell curls on a preacher machine instead. So those are the 10 best bicep exercises to help your biceps grow wider, both on the outside and on the inside of your arms. Now, even though the long head of the bicep provides more of the peak and the height rather than width, it doesn't change the fact that you should also be training the long head with exercises like narrow grip barbell curls, drag curls, and regular incline dumbbell curls to have a complete and full looking bicep. That's about it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I release future tips and tricks just like the ones you found in this video. Also, if you're looking for a scientifically proven way to pack on the maximum amount of muscle on your chest, 
back, arms, and legs in the next 12 weeks without gaining all the fat that's typically associated with other bulking programs, check out my 12-week lean bulking program. You'll get a customizable diet plan that changes every week so you can continue seeing progress even as your body's metabolism changes and adapts. You'll also get a workout plan that's proven to work even if you think that you're a hard gainer and it'll come with a full video exercise library so you're never left confused about what to do or how to do it. And as with our other programs, there'll be an accountability coach to help guide you through the entire process and answer any questions that you might have. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you could visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.